So I'm out here in the wood shop and we got a new project for you. Thinking maybe a pontoon kayak. Got these off Craigslist. 30 bucks and those are 6 inch and 4 inch PVC. We also picked up some caps, some uh, screws, some glue, some zip ties. And the brother in law, he's the one sponsoring this build. He's over there washing up some parts. So this 6 inch PVC, it was 20 feet long and we cut it in half, one of the ends was cracked so we, uh, they're going to wind up being about 9 feet long and we're thinking maybe somewhere between 3 and 4 feet wide. Want it wide for stability but not so wide it can't, you can't paddle it. So the brother in law, he's drawn out some blueprints for this raft, this kayak, this canoe. It's kind of a canoe kayak hybrid and here are the pipes and we're going to build a wood frame out of those 2 before s that's where we're going to start next. Building the wood frame, then we're going to attach the pipes to it. Screwing the frame together. And this is what we've got so far. It's about time to seal up these pipes on both ends so no water gets inside of them. And on the 4 inch pipe, he sprayed some foam up in there so it's all full of foam and the ends well, this end's about to be capped and they'll be done, ready to be mounted. Pipe fittings have been glued on. We still have to put the caps on, but up next we're going to throw the frame into position. Then we're going to fix the frame to the pipes. And we are seriously thinking about putting a kicker or either a troll motor on the back. You want to set the seat on while they're watching? Oh, sure. We have made a custom adjustable. It slides to wherever you want it to be seat. You want to be in the front? You want to be in the back? You want to be in the middle? With some footboards. So to attach the PVC pontoons, we've got these big zip ties. I came in and put a screw here, then we put a hole here, and that's every two feet there's going to be a zip tie on this big PVC. Same thing for the other side. Then we've still got to come in and put in the two smaller 4 inch PVCs. So right now he's installing the caps on the PVC pipe. We're not gluing them, we're just going to silicone them into place. He's using lots of silicone. I don't want it to leak. So we have just brought in the 4 inch PVC. It's about to get zip tied on. We also put in a couple more boards in the back. Floor boards here, floor boards there, and some floor boards up in the front. And in the center, that'll be where the chair goes. Or maybe we'll jump through there. We don't know yet. So now he's got two pole holders in the back and a trolling motor. But I think I'm going to step it up and put the homemade boat motor on. And so now we've transported up to the front yard. We're going to slide it off the little trailer onto the big trailer. And then we're going to hit the river. And I might throw in the little homemade kicker too. Load it up. I'm trying to untangle some knots to make a bridge rope. You know, swinging off into the water. This is installing the convenient carry handles. One on all four corners. Very convenient. I should show you in a different video how to braid those. Yeah, we'll see. We are back under the bridge and the boat is being unloaded. We are going to do some uh, water test here in just about a few seconds. Hang on. Oh, that's right. You guys are, they're going to they're gonna need to take it up. Pick it up. Well, here's what I like, Jay, you step through. Step through, yep. And we are off. Oh, the water definitely goes down lower. Uh, if I would. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. And that's 
with two people on it. So scary. Oh, it's a, <laughs> a teleporter. <laughs> <laughs> 